Okay, so puppy's first time sort of venturing into the front garden. So they've come out the front door <coughs> and they found my treat sticks. <laughs> so you see where the step is too big for them. I've put some bricks in there and then I draped a towel over it because the towel makes it seem much more doable to the puppy. So Blue's out here and incidentally that scratching is a sign of mild anxiety. And if all he's got his mild anxiety, he's doing really well because we're in the front garden. Winty's here, Sadie's here, Rue and Lucy are watching people go by, there's traffic. Otherwise it's quite quiet. But, except when the dogs bark, you know, all these things, it's a lot of stimulus for a small puppy. But it's open all the way to the puppy playpen. We've just chosen to come out here and leave the doors open and the puppies have chosen to follow us. This should also blow you away that even though the puppies are finding this quite a scary environment, look at Green, Chelsea, you've got a name, you're Chelsea now. So Chelsea, even though she's doing quite a lot of squeaking, actually hasn't put her tail down and run back to the, hello puppy, and run back to the playpen. They're all choosing to come out here because being with me is so important and being with the pack is so important that they're willing to put up with something that's actually quite overwhelming in order to be with the pack. Hello Nelly, you really little good dog. Cool, you're not so noisy. <coughs> Hello Freddy, Lou's Freddy, and Green is Chelsea, and there goes Marley. Just little uh, Maisie. Maisie, there she is, she's done one. Yay! First recall all the way down the house. Come on, Macy! Get puppy! I think that was brilliant. She was miles away and I called her when she came. Um, excuse me, girls. Okay, I'm going to stand in front of them and stamp my foot. And that should persuade them that I'm in charge of security. I don't mind a bit of barking, but that's too much.